Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is one in a series I'm doing on AI in Unreal. And in this one, we're going to look at the concept of a decorator. So we're uh, running through a rolling example. So let's have a quick reminder of uh, what that example is. So the AI character is going to stand on the spot, and if it can't see the player, it'll keep turning around looking in random directions. So every few seconds, it will turn and face in a different direction looking for the player. If the AI character catches sight of the player, it will stare at them. So as the player moves around, the AI character will rotate on the spot, uh, but keep facing the player as if it's watching them carefully. Once the AI character has had sight of the player, and if they then lose sight of the player, so if the player goes around a corner or something, uh, the AI character will then move to the last known location of the player. So it'll go to where it last saw the player. And then once it gets there, it goes back to looking round if it can't see the player, or if it does catch sight of the player, it'll revert to the staring. So uh, that then starts the cycle once again. If it loses sight of the, of the player again, then uh, it will again move to the last known location of the player. So here's where we've got to so far. We've got a third-person template map. Uh, we've got a AI-controllable character uh, that we've created. We've got an AI controller, which is going to do the controlling. Um, uh, that AI controller runs a AI tree, which is a, a behavior tree, uh, which we've got just opened up. All that does at the moment is repeatedly produces this message working over and over again. Uh, we've also plugged in um, a blackboard, which has one key, which is can see player. And we've got a service which is running over and over, uh, which is setting that can see player variable randomly uh, backwards and forwards flip flopping. Okay. So what we're actually going to do uh, is use that blackboard key that's being set by the service to affect what's going on in the behavior tree. So let's open up that behavior tree. Here we go. And I'm just going to get rid of that uh, talky task at the moment. Uh, we've got our selector here that's running uh, with the service inside it. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to have two possible uh, states out of here, whether it can see the player or whether it can't see the player. And we're going to use uh, sequence nodes because there may be more than one thing they want to do in a row. Um, so, so we're going to have two sequences. Right? So what we want is for um, one half to be running when can see player is set to true and one half to be running when it's set to false. Um, and we're going to put tasks below them and I'm going to use that talking task again. Uh, cookie task, and we're going to copy that and copy it across. Um, and in the talkie task here, uh, this is going to be the one where it can't see the player. So the the, the AI is saying, well, where are you? And in the one where it can't see the player, it's going to tell them. Um, this is slightly creepy. Um, that's okay. So how do we make these two halves uh, depend on that blackboard variable? Uh, what we need to use is the thing that gives you a condition to the sequence here running, which is called, for no reason I can work out, is called a decorator. Uh, there must be some legacy terminology here coming into play. Anyway, I'm going to right-click on that node, add decorator. Now, it, so far, when we've had new things to add, We've created our own versions, and you'll see up here there is a, the option to create new decorators. I'm not going to because there's a perfectly good built-in decorator that we can use uh, for this, which is a blackboard key. I have not extensively explored the other decorators here because the blackboard key is the one that I tend to use. So it's a blackboard-based condition. Uh, we'll do the same over the other side. Uh, our decorator, blackboard. Okay. So this one, we want to make it happen when that can see player is set to false. So 
here you've got the choice of the key that you're going to use on the blackboard. Uh, there's two keys in there. There's the self actor and there's the Kelsey player. And the Kelsey player, uh, the two options are is set or is not set. So I'll change that to is not set. And for this one, if I highlight it, I'm going to change it to uh, Kelsey player and is set. Okay. So while uh, when the execution comes down here, it will check that condition. Uh, and if that condition is true, then it will continue down the tree. If it's false, it will return false back up the tree. Okay, so this one is checking. It will happen to be true if that uh, can see player variable in the blackboard is set to uh, false. So that's interesting because we get true if it's a false. And here we get true if it's a true. Let's see if that does what we expect. We'll save that tree. Um, run. So it's saying, where are you? Where are you? On. I can see you. I can see you. You can't actually see you, obviously. This is just comes with the behavior. Off. Where are you? So we can see that the, the service is running, setting this uh, Blackboard key to on and off. And the behavior is now depending on the Blackboard key. Uh, so we're going to take this a bit deeper in the in the next video. We're going to actually uh, use a, a cone of sight to see if the uh, to see if the AI can see the player or not. But well, that's it from me for now.